Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared, and today we are checking out a real gravity knife. These are possibly some of the most illegal knives to carry. Now, in most places you can own them, so you can have them, you just can't carry them. Now, in some places you can. So, what constitutes a gravity knife? A gravity knife is something that can be deployed with gravity. And that is exactly what this does. So this is made by Riat, and it is extremely good quality. You can see the Riat symbol there. And this is called the EXO, the exoskeleton design, the Riat EXO. Comes in multiple different uh, versions, meaning, you know, the micarta changes, basically, that's it. So the way it works is you hold the micarta side. And let's look at the machine work really quick, though. The machining on this is insane. It's so good. Well, there's like a pivot down here and you hold the micarta and you let the, the titanium, because this is all titanium, you let it drop. Now inside is the blade and it slides inside freely. The edge does not slide against the titanium, only this, um, this little piece does right here that's holding the blade. So you can let it drop let the blade slide down and then close it. And now it is locked in place. There's a little bit of wiggle, kind of similar to what you'd expect from an OTF and out the front knife. But when you get used to it, it is very easy and not only fidgety, but very easy to deploy extremely fast. Now, I know the laws are dumb. It doesn't make any sense because this does not deploy any faster than this. Not at all. And in many cases, I would say that this is less reliable as a self-defense knife or something like that. So it doesn't make any sense. But Hollywood has made a lot of things illegal that don't make sense. But it is very fun to play with. And it is unique. It's very unique and extremely well built. And that's the thing with it. A lot of um, gravity knives, they're just not the highest quality. So this takes a real gravity knife and brings it to a high quality. Now, like I said, the machining is just really, really good. This is free falling, so you do have to hold it together with your hand to prevent it from falling. Um, but it's easy to, to keep together, you know. The, it kind of does have a little bit of weight to it, so it's easy to, you know, to keep piece together. And it's also very easy to deploy on a dime, like extremely fast. And especially once you get used to it, the reverse grip, you just let it drop and it, like the blade slides out at the same time when you release this, it drops and at the same time the blade's already dropping. Now to put it back, I would just let it drop and then swing it backwards, let me do it again. You swing it backwards and it will just close right back up and then you close it. Same thing with the deployment, you let it swing out and you use the momentum to let it swing. So you kind of just like swing it this way, it flies out, then you close it. And it's extremely easy to do when you're using momentum and you're not under a camera. <laughs> you can also do the flick of the wrist like this, downward, like that. If you just let it drop, then let it go like that, it, it will also deploy very easily. It's just, it's hard to keep it under can, under the camera and do it at the exact same time. Now, you can let it slide halfway and close it like that. If you do that, it does catch. Then you gotta kinda just re-let it go. Or if it catches, just let it back go or let back go of this end, let it fall and then continue opening it. So if it does get caught, it's very easy to, you know, to continue the motion really fast. And this is so, easy to click back and forth that it is very it's so easy to deploy and very fun now like i said though you know as fun as it is the one downside is that in most places you are not going to legally be able to carry this in some places yes now let's take a look at it with it deployed we have a tanto blade with a hand set and finish now it does come in a drop point version as well um, nice straight back grind, a little bit of a, da um, a downward tip right here, but for the most part, it's a straight back. The up and down, there's really no up and down. There's just a little tiny bit of side to side, but up and down, not too much. 
And when it's sliding back and forth, like I said, the edge does not ever touch the inside. So it's not like the edge is going dull from sliding back and forth. And this is arguably a knife that will be reliable forever. It's not like other knives where, you know, the more you flip it, the older it gets or the more locked up it gets, so on and so forth. You know, it's such a simple thing that it will last forever basically, you know, as long as this pivot doesn't come loose and come apart, you know, keeping Loctite on it. Now, it does come with a Kydex sheath that is similar to a tech lock, where you can face it the direction you want, where you can face it at an angle. But I have a custom sheath here we're going to check out from Lancelot Leathers. But this does hold it pretty good, and you can carry it on your side or on your belt or however you want to carry it. And then this goes around your belt. Very easy. Um, most people know a tech lock, uh, but it, it's a very uh, secure lock or secure way to carry while being able to carry the direction and angle you want. Now we have a custom sheath here. Shout, shout out to Lance a lot leathers, making really good quality uh, sheaths. The stitching is really nice. He, I'm sure he makes it in any type of color or you know style of leather that you prefer now it just snugly goes in there and this is so much better than the kydex one in my opinion now this isn't going to be bi-directional it's just going to click over your belt and you know hang on but it's a it's very secure it has a nice secure you know i can feel the the leather snugging the the knife so as it's pulling out it's holding a little bit of tension it has a nice deep carry to it and i mean deep meaning like with the with the the kydex one it is shallow so very cool very nice um leather work i will try to link lancelot leathers down in the description for you guys so you guys can possibly go and check out you know what he does and the work he does you know if you want to get something else possibly made but I just wanted to do a quick overview of the Riet EXO gravity knife. Possibly one of the most illegal knives you can carry. But you can still own them, so that's pretty awesome. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.